Today on the channel, we head to Mose Isley Cantina to check out this hot new band called the Modal Nose with Figrin Dan and Nalene Cheel. The spirit of the Living Warrior will run forever! everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars Black Series unboxing and review. And today, from the Star Wars Black Series, we've got Nalene Shield Deluxe Edition and Figrin Dan. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more to hit up Entertainment Earth, use the link in the description below for 10% off all in-stock items. And of course, free shipping over $39. Gotta get a deal all day long. Now today, we're checking out the modal nodes, the hottest band in all the galaxy, with a really cool idea here from the Hasbro team. Got to get the most out of your molds, and that's what this is about. Making us buy, as hardcore collectors, multiples of these figures to be able to complete the whole band, get all seven members. Now, you do get a more standard release here in Figurin Dan, but Nalin Cheel, a deluxe figure. Now, Nalin Cheel here and Figurin Dan, I believe, and we'll find out, are the exact same figure. The difference here is the, I almost said weapons, the instruments each guy ends up coming with. So, a really smart play by Hasbro, like we said, getting the most out of your molds, making the hardcores have to buy multiples of these figures to complete the band. I don't know. I guess there's some collectors out there that would be okay with maybe just figuring Dan. You guys can sound off in the comments uh, about that if you would like. But an interesting one. And today, like I said, we're going to unbox these. We're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And then I will for the glamour shots. I do have multiples of these. We're going to put these guys together, get them their instruments, and we'll take some nice glamour shots of the band. See what they sound like in person. We'll see. But without further ado, let's kick it off. Let's take a look at old Figrin Dan first. Old Figrin Dan, there he is. We've heard the name for years. Always cool to get him in the line. Always cool to get aliens in the Star Wars Black Series line. Uh, I wish they would give us some more of these deep cut aliens along the way. Beautiful shot over there, him playing his oboe. I don't even know what that is. Uh, some kind of instrument. Of course, you got other members right up top. On the side, nothing. Top, nothing. Bottom, nothing. On the back, he is number four. Of course, he's got a new hope for us. He's number four in the new hope line. We got the glamour shot. We got the blurb. Let's see what it says about old Figrin Dan here. Figrin Dan was the rockin' front man for the all-Biff band, the Modal Nodes. His deft playing of the clue horn for the band earned, <laughs> earned him the nickname Fiery Figrin. I love it. I love blurbs like that. That's funny. And of course, he is number four. This one is number five. You can put them together and the boxes do connect for those keeping track at home. Very, very cool there. All right, further ado, let's get him out of the package. Let's see what's going on with old Figrin Dan. Do an old Figrin Dan things. See you later. There goes the box. Plastic Prison. There he is, looking good. All right, pulling it out. Got one of these. See you later. Spider Man style. Bam. See you later. There it goes. And we're going to pop these instruments. I keep wanting to call them weapons. Force of habit, of course. Uh oh, we're taped in here. We're taped in pretty good, actually. Gonna make sure I get all this tape out. That way we'll get we'll get these instruments of destruction out of the package. Now it'll be interesting how many people will buy multiples of these. See you later. He's an army builder, a musician army builder. We don't get that very often, but we do get three instruments. I could never in a million years tell you what the instruments are called, of course. Uh, we do get this one right here. Very cool. It's got an interesting sculpt to it. Almost looks like a pipe on the end. Uh, a nice kind of dirty wash color to it, so it does look all right. Then we get this big stand-up one here. Once again, all one color. Some dirtiness, some grunginess to it. I like the look of that. It's been uh, backpacked across the galaxy, gig to gig, so it's got to have some dirt to it. And then another instrument, which uh, we don't know either. I don't know. I just don't know my instruments. I'm sorry. Modal nodes. Sorry. I apologize. Uh, we get another one here. We got a little silver color to this one, so I do like that a whole lot. Now we turn our attention to old Figrin Dan. Let's see what he's all about. Let's see how his articulation is. See what's going on with him. He has a beautiful, big, big monster head going on. Tons of articulation. Tons. Yeah, sure, tons. Uh, but he does move around side to side, back and forth, things like that. So he's got some movement there. He does got a little hole in his mouth, so you can stick the instrument in his mouth if you need to. Big, big black eyes. Big old alien bowling ball style head. I uh, got a slick kind of down the middle. He almost looks like a butt, a butt head, some may say. Uh, so very interesting look there. On the top, you got an all black 
kind of uh, outfit going on here, just like a black long shirt. You could almost pop a human head, human hands on here, and you could have just kind of a generic character if you really wanted to. I guess the neck might have to be popped out as well, but uh, could be the basis of an army builder right here if you were into that kind of thing. Uh, then he does have big old alien hands here, both gripping hands so he can grip the instruments, of course. Couldn't have a closed fist with a band member. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, but then you do get the gray pants down below and then the boots and then the ankles. Walking through articulation, they're going to be the same on both these guys, so we might as well walk that through. We talked about the head. You do get a nice hula hoop there. Very nice. No waist, so it's all in the hula hoop action here. He does get a pretty good band split right there. You do get a thigh cut. You do get a single jointed knee. You do get a boot cut. You do get ankles back and forth, up and down, like we're accustomed to with Star Wars. Uh, hands are probably removable. Yes, they are removable. And they do got a little ball joint to put them in there, so that does work. And Star Wars, we do not get a lot of removable hands, as you guys are probably fully aware. We don't get a lot of that. Uh, but yeah, very, very good. Very interesting looking guy. I'm sure he can hold all of his uh, instruments. Yes, they do fit in his hand just right. So very, very good. A little bit plain, but it's more about the appearance of the entire band. That's what this is about. Uh, I can see maybe wanting just one. I think you're either getting one or you're getting all of them. I think that's the way it usually ends up going. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you get a Mattel stand. Uh, but 10% off is a good deal there. So there it is right there. Fits perfectly. Army Builder Supreme, Figrin Dan. Very, very good for what it is. If you're a fan of the modal nodes, you definitely need him. But we'll put him off to the side as we're going to turn our attention to the deluxe one, old Nolan Cheel, of course. Nolan Cheel, another famous member of the modal nodes, I guess. Sounds good, doesn't it? But it is deluxe package. Now, the only thing deluxe about this is the extra accessories, the band accessories. That's the deluxeness. We do have the New Hope band there in the orange. Uh, not many New Hope figures in the Star Wars Black Series. This is the fifth one. When you've only got five figures from the Black Series, New Hope line, and two of them are Cantina band members, what are we doing here, Hasbro? What are we doing? I don't know. There's probably some better characters we can maybe get out there, but I'm sure they'll get to it. They will. They always do. Star Wars Black Series, all the usual bells and whistles. As we saw, it does fit together with the packaging. There it is. There's two more band members up top there building the band out, of course. And the back of the package, you got that band there. He's number five. You got the glamour shot. You got the blurb. You got the warnings, all that kind of stuff. Let's see what it says about Nalene Cheel. Let's see. Members of the modal no. <laughs> Members of the modal nodes like Nalene Cheel on the band fill played their recognizable tunes in the Mose Eisley Cantina. So pretty basic uh, for the most part right there. But let's get him out of the package. Let's see what old Nalene's up to. See you later up high. Goodbye. There it goes. Big box here. Oh boy, we got a bunch of extra hands as well. So we got to figure out all the hands on this one. It's going to be a lot of work to do here. A lot of work to do, but very, very good. Plastic prison. Let's see. Can I get all this out? Can we get all this stuff out? We got a lot of stuff. This does feel deluxe. Uh, where we talked about that Cobb Vance being quite the cash grab, this one feels a heck of a lot better to me, in, in my eyes. Uh, with all these, I keep wanting to say weapons, but you know what I mean. All these instruments here, the extra hands. Uh, we got tape. Oh, there it is. Got all kinds of hands going on. So that's going to be the hard part, is figuring out what hand goes to what guy and figuring out what instrument holds best with the hands. Oh, and then we got a little twist tie action too. So this might take a little bit of playing around before I get to the glamour shots. Uh, figure out whose hand goes where, what band goes where. Oh, I almost threw out these drumsticks. That would have been, that would have been a big miss, big big miss. Off the races. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, Spider Man, Spider Man style. There it is. All right, we're off to the races here. Maybe, boy, there's a lot, a lot in here. I'm here for it. I'm okay with all that stuff. So let's start it off. Let's take a look at some of these accessories. Let's break it all down. I guess we'll look at these two drumsticks real quick. Not sure exactly what instrument, but we'll figure it out. We've got two nice drumsticks here, all silverish gray color. Nice ball at the top. Not a lot to it, but it is what it is. got to have those. Those are the easiest lost things of these packages, I can tell already. Then we get hands. So we get the Nalin Chiel figure and Dan hands. Uh, very, very cool. So you got those two splayed out hands. Always got to have some of that going on. And then we get... Two playing hands? Sure, why not? Playing hands. I think these are the drumstick holding hands is what they look like to me. Looks like they would fit perfectly. Yep, and a nice tight grip on those. That is going to be key because you don't want to lose these things. So I'm going to put these in here right now just for a little added protection so they don't fall onto the carpet or something like that. Uh, but those are going to be the gripping hands for those very easily. And then we get two more open hands as well. I'm sure probably similar hands to these. Yes, exact same hands we get on figure and Dan right there. 
So there's your hands. Then you get your instruments of mass destruction. I have no idea what these instruments are. Uh, but you get one here. It's got pedals. Uh, no articulation to it. Nothing like that. But it does look cool. But uh, it looks like a sewing machine or something. I don't know. These crazy galaxy instruments. Uh, but a nice stool there to sit down. You got the foot pedals going on. They do not move. Uh, they're just locked into place. So that is what it is. And then you get this top container. Red band going throughout. Who knows? You could tell somebody this is a thing that controls the weather, and I wouldn't I wouldn't look at you twice. And then you get this. Once again, no idea what this is. No movement, nothing like that, but it's on a stand. And then you get this instrument. Crazy instruments throughout. That's all I can say. I don't know what to tell you about these instruments. Uh, just aren't anything familiar to me, but there's the mouth part. So he holds this over his over like this. You're blowing into it, and that's how that goes. So very, very interesting. But he fits right there. And of course, he's going to fit on a stand as well. Don't need to walk through Nolly and Shield's articulation or really anything. It's the exact same figure. <laughs> it's 100% the exact same figure. There is no difference. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess in the movie, though, they were all the same. So it does technically make sense. And like I said, you're buying this pack just for the extra uh, band accessories is all you're doing. But of course, you guys know, like I said, I got all these guys off to the side. Oh, boy, no. I should have had them all on stands ready to go. But I'm not as professional as I'd like to be. There it is. Oh, he's falling over. But I do have all these guys right here. They're all ready to play in the band or fall down, whatever they need to do. But I got all of them. I got all seven members of the band. We're going to have it. We're going to get the glamour shots. I'm going to work on it. We're going to put them all together. But quite the army builder here. A little bit expensive. There could be some people I could understand waiting to get a deal on these. Maybe get them half cost and stuff and then build your band from there. That's probably the smart move, the smart play. Get maybe one right now just to, for your curiosity factor. But then wait a little bit and then get the rest at a clearance. Because I don't think these are going to set the world on fire eventually. But you never know. Being an army builder, they could set the world on fire. So it's just one of those things. You just never know what's going to happen. But a cool idea, a cool play for Star Wars. It's a great way to get the most out of your molds, make them as much money as you can. At the end of the day, Hasbro is not a nonprofit. They are a for-profit company. Things like this really do help the bottom line. Uh, maybe not a ton, but you know what I mean. It does make a lot of sense. It's the same figure, just mass-produced. So works for me. Very cool idea. I'm here for it. Give me all the Star Wars bands. We need them all. We need them all. Give them all to us. But very cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Follow along on Patreon. Don't forget to follow along on social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Support the channel. So for the modal nodes, Figure and Dan and Nalene Cheel, I am Kyle. And I'll see you guys all real soon.